it's a terrific exhibit, Native Reflections, and it's all art that is painted or carved or whatever the medium is by uh, Native Americans from Kentucky and what's called Native Inspired, which is a legal term, which means that you have ancestry that's Native American, but you're not a- uh, an enrolled tribe member. Yeah. And uh, so there's a Native American Heritage Commission of Kentucky. And they curated this. And they curated it with the Kentucky Arts Council and the Heritage Council of the state. So Frankfurt and everyone in Frankfurt. Lots of alphabet soup. Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah. So um, they curated it. And it's, so the artists are all from Kentucky mm-hmm. and they're mm-hmm. all Native. And then yeah. the big Sandy Heritage Museum, this is the real get. Um, uh, there's many artifacts yes. in the museum, which is housed on the fifth floor, I think it is, or third floor of the Pike County uh, Jail. Mm-hmm. There's the museum. Yeah. And uh, the big case, uh, we have a, what do you think? Ten we actually, pieces? what basically what happened was every time they build something in mm-hmm. Pike County, uh, there's a group of people who this is their passion as they go and they find, they say, well, you've started construction. You've started digging. Let's see if you have any artifacts down here. And yeah. sure, sure enough, enough, you know, like yeah. when, when they were building the parts of the commons, they found numerous arrowheads from hundreds of years ago. They found an ax head that dates from 5,000 to 8,000 BC. Yeah, this is, we're going to be uh, posting pictures for everybody that wants to check these out, yeah. and uh, it's it's amazing. But the uh, artifacts was something I was really excited about because during quarantine, I just went down this YouTube rabbit hole of <laughs> like these ancient uh, sites here in, in the United States. Because, it's easy to do. Yeah, well, what people often think about. See, I've always wanted to go see places like Stonehenge mm-hmm. or the yeah. pyramids or Machu Picchu or yeah. and any of those. Go back, go back to Tepe. But uh, I know that probably never going to, and there's in totally different countries. But I started finding out that there's all types of. Uh, ancient civilizations here in the United States. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a Stonehenge up in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a bunch of places out in uh, New Mexico. Just all oh, these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the... Um we're the one, the, the, what, the civilization that they don't even know where the, what happened to them. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, well, Anasazi? That sounds really that actually, good. Yeah. I, I, Isn't I think it the Anasazi? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nobody here to tell us we're wrong. You see, so. exactly. <laughs> it's the Anasazi. You, yeah, you, you, you'll, get, you'll get YouTube comments later. That's not what it is. <laughs> That's not what it is. <laughs> but but, like, but it, it really is fascinating, though, because yeah. like we often think, especially whenever it comes to around here's heritage we think of you know the old bluegrass players and the uh, our ancestors who were living off the land Mm -hmm. we oftentimes don't think about the native americans and other people who may have settled around this area and whenever i was looking at some of these artifacts and we'll post uh, pictures up online for people to check out while we're talking about it yeah to, to find like the axe well the axe that you were uh, talking Mm -hmm. about Mm -hmm. that is close to well approximately could be 10,000 yeah, years old. Seven to 10,000 years. And the amazing thing is this that we found out because we, again, we were not knowledgeable about it, but we tried to make ourselves about it, was that they didn't settle here. Right. The, Kentucky, well, this was hunting this grounds. Was hunting this ground. was hunting grounds. And it was sort of a crossroads hunting, hunting ground. It wasn't just for the Cherokee Nation, which is actually one of the ones that is considered the closest because mm-hmm. they would come in from North Carolina. They would come in, spend some months, hunt, get the game they wanted and leave. But it was sort of the tribes came in from everywhere yeah. to Kentucky, and they said, "No one's going to settle in this part in, in this part here, but there's a lot of game here, so we're all going to sort of take turns d- throughout the year and hunt at different times." It's good that they had that agreement because that could have went very oh, yeah. bad. And then we just found out that apparently in southern Ohio, mm-hmm. there's an area that was um, that was the trading area. So all the tribes would come to the same area and trade amongst themselves. It's hmm. really cool. Yeah. We've really just dived into this yeah. since getting this exhibit. Yeah, and in fact, that's what uh, the way we did that was, uh, I'm going to butcher this name and I'm going to say it right, is the Warriors of Anagadawa. That was gr- great <laughs> job. You see? Yeah. You see? Okay. Uh, the Warriors great of Anagadawa, they're coming out of Cherokee, uh, North, North Carolina. Carolina, and they're going to come on the 13th of February at... Two o'clock. Two o'clock, and they're actually going to perform... In the theater, and it's free. It's free to all. Free to all, wow. and uh, it's gonna. They're gonna be doing some of the native dances from the Cherokee, and talking about the fact that uh, you know, talking about how Kentucky was vitally important to the survival because they would come, they would hunt, they would get the game, and bring it back home. 
Wow. See, I, we, we, I just never would have thought that we would have so much Native American history right here in eastern Kentucky. I've been to places like Cherokee and uh, other reservations and stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, Did my, you go to the Cherokee, North Carolina? Have yeah, you ever been yeah, there? The, yeah, it's the really cool. Oh, Did you yeah, go to the museum? Yeah. It, it's, it's been years, and I was really young. But uh, from what I remember, it was so fascinating. Yeah. And, and I got to uh, watch like some of the rain da- They performed yep. some of the rain dances yeah, and, and stuff and, like yes, that. And Such so an interesting culture. It yeah. is a beautiful culture. And the museum is beautifully done, exquisitely yeah. curated. Yeah. It's so uh, elegant and respectful and, uh, and it, illuminating. I, I, I yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, make see, the trip. Yeah, I, I went to the museum. My parents went to the casino. So of yeah. course. <laughs> you see, and that's the opposite. The parents should go to the to. museum and the kids should go to the... Okay, no, oh, maybe no. not that. Uh,